It's cup final day. We're the champions. They've built the trophy cabinet. We've got our Northern League Division 2 trophy there. And we're going to Wembley. Yes guys, welcome to episode 9 of Grassroots to Giants. We're back here in the northeast of England with Norton and Stockton Ancients where today we are taking on Hanley Town in the FA Vars final. You may notice we've had a little change of skin. Uh, I wasn't very happy with the way that the, uh, the latest scores kept disappearing uh, in the last game against Town or Town that we played. Um, so I've gone to a skin that I've had installed for a little while. It's the TCS skin. Uh, it's a skin I've used in the past on FM20. Uh, it's, it's a very, very good skin. It's not quite the best uh, in terms of using it on a laptop, which is what I do. Um, like the season stats, you can, you, you, there's a lot of scrolling you have to do, career stats and stuff like that, but we can just click on them. Uh, it's not an issue. Uh, again, if we just have a quick look at the season stats, we can click on them, get a little bit more in-depth review. Today's opponents, though, are Hanley Town. Uh, they did they finish top of their league they did they've been promoted alongside us in terms of our league performance 100% from the from the board 95% in the FA Vars you can see there we finished with 102 points with a goal difference of 78 we scored 125 goals this goals conceded though is very concerning yes it's the fourth best in the league uh, but it's still it's 47 goals uh, nothing's changed squad-wise since you were last with us. Jack Egan's back though. He, he's finally returned from his injury. Uh, he's going to make the bench for us today. He might come on and play a part in the second half. But it's uh, it's a, a very similar squad to the last game that you saw us play in. One league game since you were gone. It was a 3-1 away win against Jarrow with Sonny Best, Michael Skates and Tom Devine getting on the score sheet. We did have a friendly... Uh, against a local team, Redcar Town, uh, just to keep a little bit of match fitness up a week before the final. A little bit of disappointing news though. We, we've we won the league, uh, but we didn't get manager of the season. Matt Patterson with his 60% win ratio finished ahead of us with our 82% win ratio. Not entirely sure that, how that's happened. None of our players have got any awards, um, to, to be honest. We've scored way more goals than anybody else yes Burtley have conceded a lot less than us uh, but he got four points to our three and we were actually tied with Lee, Lee Haldane anyway let's let's go to Wembley let's go to Wembley uh, Hanley Town are the favourites for this game uh, despite us being in the uh, at the same league level uh, I'm going to tell them just to carry on their performance because they were great against uh, Jarrow tell them all I've got faith in them the stadium looks very 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 empty I believe that we're predicted to have six uh, sorry 300 tickets sold uh, and in a 90,000 seater stadium 300 people yeah they're, they're gonna look very very lost uh, the game is on the television the FA Vars final one little uh, caveat of possibly being on the laptop is is up here in the score or it could be just that our name's that long uh, but it does cover up the badge and the kit here uh, anyway looking for an early start with Keith Wright who's been in excellent goal scoring form and he backs himself his 10th goal of the season uh, and we're ahead inside the fourth minute in the cup final I can't see any fans <laughs> I said it'd look empty but I can't see any I think I saw some up in one of the, there's, there's some up in that top tier there. Uh, I don't know why they're not pitch side. Um, you, you'd think you would be. You, you can you can sit anywhere you want, really. Uh, uh, but Hanley Town can they reply straight away? Dixon pulls off a save. In the friendly we did have against Redcar Town, we couldn't even keep a clean sheet against them, and they haven't got any real players. They're all the grade out players. Uh, but Dixon had a couple of howlers in that game. Dixon's definitely one who we are going to be replacing in the summer. Um, I've had a look through a lot of the under-23 teams. 
looking for, for players whose contracts are expiring. We've given away a penalty. Murray had his hands on Bradley too much. And this game could be all square inside of 10 minutes. It could be one each. Had Dodd steps up, he does slot the penalty away. Uh, and it's one all after 10 minutes. Lewis Dodds with his 10th goal of the season. I don't know where you've gone to celebrate, mate. The fans, the fans are up in the gods. And we don't need to see a replay of the penalty. Uh, yeah, laptop-wise, there would obviously I'd like to get a bit more information on here, but I can't. Just purely the size of the screen. Uh, but we'll give this skin a try for a little while. If we find anything else that we we think's a little bit buggy, uh, we'll we'll have a look at another one. I don't like playing on the original. Uh, the, the, the football manager skin you just don't get enough information in my opinion um, not in stock nation it's looking to go ahead again though but Dodds cuts out the pass uh, and now it's green uh, he just punts it long uh, Dixon collects it comfortably uh, he looks outside to Murray of course who gave the penalty away uh, now it's Asia Kanu inside so it's Reed Sonny Best inside to skates but it's another poor pass and Shotton uh, plays it back to Harker in goal. We do win the header though, and now it's Sonny Best again. He, this time he does find Skates. Skates plays it back to Sonny Best. Sonny Best on his left peg. It's a poor effort really, uh, and the keeper's gathered it very, very comfortably. Corner for Norton to be whipped in by Sonny Best. It's for the head of Azia Kanu, but he does head it over the bar. Not the greatest of headers. We are massively on top in this game though. Um, 459 fans in a 90,000 seater stadium seems a little bit excessive uh, maybe they should look to have it somewhere else you know <laughs> yes I get the I get the you know non-league teams get to play at Wembley uh, but I'm sure they'd be quite comfortable playing a, a premiership or a championship level stadium Obviously, depending on where the two teams are in the final, alter the venue. So it's it's somewhere in the middle of them both. Wembley from Norton is is a long, long way. It's about three hundred miles. Uh, obviously, it's a long way for for the fans to go. Uh, Coin looks forward towards Keith Wright though. Uh, the Cotterill, the defender there, misses his header, but he does manage to pick up the ball. And now it's Campbell Gordon. Murray wins his header though, and now it's Reed. Forward to skate, plays in Keith Wright. Keith Wright with his second goal of the game. He's been in scintillating form since we picked him up a couple of months ago. The young Northern Irish striker. Uh, and it's advantage Norton and Stockton Ancients again. It's a good win from the head by Murray. Reed plays it forward to skate. Plays it forward again to Wright, which is just straight down the middle there. And he's got one with both feet now. Can he get one with his head for the perfect hat trick? Hanley Town could respond straight away again though. Uh, Dixon actually holds on to the ball. Uh, as I said, Dixon is one that we, we are going to be replacing in the summer. Uh, he's he's not the greatest goalkeeper. If you look at his attributes, he doesn't seem too bad for this sort of level. But if you just watch him play and he's just not up to scratch. Uh, Wright now looking for his hat-trick and he grabs his hat-trick. Keith Wright with a hat-trick in the FA Vars final. Uh, and we've got a little bit of a cushion, which is which is excellent. It's excellent. It's it's a good job we ordered the the bigger trophy cabinet uh, because it looks like we're going to be putting another trophy in it. I really want to get Jack Egan on for a game, but Skates is having a, a great game. We're going to do it. Jack Egan. He's been out for about six months. Of course, our absolute star player. Uh, if you just look, have a look at his stats, 24 appearances, 20 goals, 8 assists with a 7.68 average rating. In the FA Vars, 5 appearances, 4 goals with a 7.96. He's been, he's been in, outstanding, uh, in outstanding form this season. Incidentally, it reckons uh, Sonny Best is better in this position. Sonny Best doesn't play in this position. Um, we'll see. We'll see, we're going to get, bring Jack Egan on though. Just come back from a long, long term injury with a broken foot. But he, he deserves a run out. He's, he's been integral to what we've done early on in the season. Uh, Keith Wright 
on his hat trick, Shabs Mohammed gets his head on that ball there. We can't direct it towards the goal. Keith Wright, can can he can he get a fourth in a cup final? Sonny Best with another corner looking for Azikunu. And we've scored four. No, it's been disallowed. Oh, we've, we've got a player stood inside the goalkeeper. Um, yeah, I, I can see why it was disallowed. But we've, uh, we, we've dominated this game. It's been a fantastic performance. Keith Wright grabbing the hat-trick, skates for two assists. It probably feels a little bit hard done to being taken off. Um, let's not let Hanley back in. Dixon with another one of those howlers. And Wright just thumps it clear into the final 10 minutes. We do have another corner now. Sonny Best, the, the defender at near post, missed it there. But luckily, shot on was behind him. And now it's Dagnall. That uh, comes inside to Cole. It's Pew. Goes across to the right to Bradley and Dodds. Who finds Green. Uh, Green now advancing down the right hand side. It's a Fuller. It's, it's a wasteful pass by Fuller. Uh, and Dixon, just waste as much time as you can, mate. Uh, he finds Coyne instead, who's now Mohammed. Can we can we press forward ourselves? We can. It's Jack Egan from his long back from his long term injury, and he's he's missed. He's missed. I thought that was going to be the perfect return there for Egan. But we're inside the final five minutes, and uh, it's looking good. It's looking good for our second trophy of the season. I'm I'm, I'm disappointed about the Northern League Cup now. Uh, considering how well we've done in this competition and the league, we could have had a perfect season. Uh, Egan, now can he get his goal? He can't. Harker denies him with a brilliant save, but Keith Wright picks up the pieces and we're, we're still pressing them forward here. Uh, it's Salmon with the long range effort. He's right at the crossbar. Uh, what a great effort from the right fullback there. Again, Keith Salmon's probably one of those players that we're probably going to be replacing the. Uh, the club captain you probably won't like i said in the last episode you won't see many uh many of these faces here next season we do get a trophy celebration for this one though we didn't get one for the league for whatever reason uh, the fa vice champions norton and stockton ancients we've took them from absolutely nothing with no trophies whatsoever to a league and cup double in our first ever season absolutely fantastic absolutely fantastic boys you deserve a drink tonight who's going to do the cartwheel i bet it's the goalkeeper no it's not it's number 12 it was number 12 <laughs> you always get the little cartwheel i don't know who number 12 was it might have been jack egan you need to be careful of that foot mate we don't want to be breaking it again do we uh we are we are the champions though we are the champions. That's uh, that's awesome. Norton Stockton Ancients celebrate the double. Thirty thousand pound. That's that's massive. That is a massive amount of money for this level of football. Tantai brings glory. Board are absolutely delighted. Surely this is hundred percent now. It is. Keith Wright with the hat trick in the final. If we just have a look at Keith Wright, he's attribute wise, he's not the greatest. Uh, but if we just have a look at his stats. He's come in, he's played five games in the league with eight goals, three in the cup with four goals and 8.1 in the cup, obviously inflated by that hat-trick that he's just scored in the final. We are the biggest overachievers. Uh, just look at that trophy cabinet. Look at it. That's, that's excellent. Right. I'm going to click forward gets to the end of the season review we'll have a little bit of review of the squad and we'll go through all of the the, the club awards for the season any records that are broken uh, and i'll catch up with you guys in just a minute so here it is i only had to click forward a couple of times i, I didn't really have to cut the cut to cut the recording off uh not in stock end of the season review let's have a look at the new arrivals see who the signing of the season was apparently it was michael skates um the attacking midfielder there we've also got keith wright We've already had a look at Keith Wright. Let's just have a quick look at Michael Skates. Again, the young Northern Irish uh, attacking midfielder. Attribute-wise, not the greatest, but we are league level 10. 
Uh, also, notable mentions was Jack Egan, uh, a 7.68 average rating. Yannick Azikunu, uh, again, a player we poached from Ashington. Um, just before we played them in the semi-final, Tom Devine also came in, played very, very well, obviously learning a new position. He's still unconvincing in that position, uh, but he's, he's not done too bad. Luca Nelson, again, another player who we brought in midway through the season from Bedlington Terriers. Uh, he's... he's Fairly decent attribute-wise at this level. Sonny Best, we picked up on a free transfer. Not from Sunderland, like it says there. He was actually released by Sunderland a couple of years ago. Uh, pressing forward, advanced forward. We've actually played him more as a poacher this season. Uh, if you do have a look at his stats, though, for the season, he's played 28, scored 9 with 12 assists. Uh, an average rating of 7.35. He's been very, very good for us. Shabzan Mohamed also season results FA Vars the board expected us to reach the second qualifying round minimum uh, and we we won it we went and won it a couple of penalties the one against Hanworth Villa was a bit nerve-wracking this is still bugged it's it's been bugged since football manager came out uh, top scorers though Jack Egan Keith Wright and Yannick Aziakunu as for the Northern League Cup disappointing to lose 1-0 to Billingham Town in the second round uh, the board only gave us a C rating for that, A plus for this for the Vars. I don't know why it hasn't got the league here. Uh, moments to remember though, the biggest win was a 7-0 win against Bolden Community. Keith Wright bagged four in that game for us. Uh, match to remember was a 4-1 away win against Washington. Uh, again, it must have been fairly early in the season though, because we've got Seth Meeson, who of course now is a Tower Town player. In there, we've also got Lucas Gambling, who had left us to go to AFC Blackpool. A very, very good defender for this level. Goal of the season was given to Egan. A truly memorable goal from Norton Stockton Ancients, attacking midfielder. Egan hits a shot from 27 yards out. Uh, and that was a 4-2 win against Bedlington Terriers. It's the game which we decided to sign Luca Nelson. In terms of finances, club reputation and is obscure. That hasn't really changed. It will have gone up behind the scenes. Uh, numbers that we can't see without the editor, of course, which we don't have on. In terms of sponsorship, 1.87k, no broadcast revenue. Corporate and hospitality, £309. Prize money with £50,000, thanks in part to the FA Vars. Uh, match day commercial retail, 25k. We've sold a total of £202 merchandise sales, of £20 of which was non domestic. Uh, team of the season. Uh, we've got Chris Salmon at right back. Of course, he's really been the only option we've had at right back. Lucas Gamblin and Lewis Coyne, the two centre-halves there. Ross McNabb, of course, who did leave us for Ashton Town halfway through the season. Uh, gets in there. Farrington, Mohamed Meeson is the midfield three. Uh, I would probably agree with that. With Skates has managed to get in there ahead of Egan. Obviously, Egan missed a large part of the season. we then got Thomas Cole, another player we lost at AFC Blackpool. Uh, who's incidentally since he's gone he's only played five games but he has scored three goals in those games uh, and Sonny Best Sonny Best the old favourite of mine from these non-league saves uh, I believe we've already had a look at Sonny Best stats we have for the season uh, the accolades anyway let's get into this I did win Premier uh, the sorry the Northern League Division Manager of the Month three times throughout the course of the season Fans player of the season was Jack Egan. He was also the young player of the season. Sign of the season was given to Michael Skates, the young 17-year-old. Goal of the season was Jack Egan, we've already discussed. Jack Egan still managed to bag the top goal scorer, despite missing the last six months with a broken foot. Sonny Assist with those... Sonny Assist? I'm going to have to rename him Sonny Assist now. Sonny Best with those 15 assists. Uh, most player of the matches award, again, Jack Egan. Highest average rating, Jack Egan. And most passes completed, Colin, Callum Farrington, uh, was 63 per 90 minutes. In terms of record breakers, Jack Egan with the goals. Thomas Cole with the most league goals by a player in a season at 21. Most plays goal, but most goals by a player in a match was Keith Wright with those four goals. Uh, again, that was in the league. Most assists by a player in the season, Thomas Cole again, another player who we lost halfway through the season. Daniel Dixon with the most clean sheets. Uh, Daniel Dixon will be moving on. Uh, we might drop him down to a backup. Uh, just incidentally, what is he? He's actually agreed as the first choice goalkeeper and he's actually classed as an important player. 
for us. But he did make a total of 47 appearances for us throughout the season. Uh, and he only kept 11 clean sheets in those 47. A 6.97 average rating is not the greatest. Um, where, did, where were we up to? Most player of the matches award in a season of Thomas Cole. Worst discipline was Chris Salmon with nine yellows and two reds. Youngest player, R Richie Griffiths, who again is a goalkeeper. He, he came in when um, Dixon was injured early on in the season. He played with fours at 16 years and 119 days. The oldest player is Dixon. Fastest goal, Keith Wright, one minute and three seconds. Youngest goal scorer, Daniel Waters. And then oldest goal, goal scorer was Michael Tate. Uh, history in the making though for Norton. Norton, Stockton Ancients looked a class above in the first couple of months of the season. Few will have expected this outcome, but they gave themselves a chance and they have reaped the rewards. Uh, Norton, Stockton Ancients owe everything to a fantastic start to the season. The kickstarted an unlikely promotion push. Uh, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Board set the initial budgets for next season. Uh, the wage budget has come down quite a lot uh, from last season. If you remember, it was about £1,500. Obviously, I'd like to stay underneath that as much as possible because this will disappear very, very quickly. Uh, obviously, we don't have any transfer budget. In terms of what the board want next season, they want promotion by winning the league. They expect us to get promoted again straight away they expect us to win the league again and it's required well if that's what it is that's what it is uh we'll accept it squad dynamics we don't have any team leaders which is um, a little bit concerning we could do with some team leaders in terms of the new season team report this is what our assistant believes to be the best possible lineup that we can play most of these players won't feature for us. We had a few injury. Jack Egan out for four months with that broken foot. Uh, but we're going to send the guys away on their squad season break. Just quickly before we go, we'll have a look quickly through the squad. We can see here Jack Egan with his 25 goals. Keith Wright, 12 in eight appearances. Sonny Best with 11. Luke Nelson did score nine for us after he came in. In terms of assists, it's Sonny Best and Shabs Mohamed leading the way. Jack Egan's still up there despite missing most of the season. Average rating 7.99 for Keith Wright. Overall, Michael Skate 7.68. So those two signings that we did make, uh, you know, sort of out of necessity after most of our best players were poached, have done very, very well for us since they came in. But that's going to be the end of the episode. It's the end of season one. I've got a very busy summer ahead. I need to improve this squad. The board expect us to win the league again. Uh, as always though guys. Thank you very very much for watching. If you do like what you've seen. And you want to stay up to date with any future content. Please hit that subscribe button. If you wouldn't mind leaving a like as well. If you do like what you've seen. Any comments as always. Always greatly appreciated. Uh, and I'll see you all for season two.